Hello, today I'm going to do a video about how to set your tension if you've never spun before with a spinning wheel. And uh, this is from Arlene on Ravelry. She had this tip and I really liked it so I thought I'd do a video. But the first thing to do is to, um, this is your tension dial and it controls basically how much twist and how fast the yarn is pulled onto the bobbin. And what you want to do uh, is set it to no tension. So now there's real, I mean it's it's set to not have any tension there. And what that means is that the yarn will twist, but it will not be pulled onto the bobbin. And that's a, a good way to start. Um, and then you'll take uh, a piece of existing yarn, like this is called uh, lead yarn. And uh, I'm just gonna feed it through. And, uh, flyer like that, and then we hook it around these two arms, and uh, then at this point um, you want to uh, attach it some way to the bobbin. I actually found a little piece of tape here um, is one easy way to do it, and then it definitely doesn't slip. So I'm going to be spinning the bobbin this way, uh, so um, let's just twist it around a few times like that. Okay, uh, so now if I turn the electric eel wheel on, uh, it's, it's not pulling my yarn, it's just twisting it um, as expected because uh, I have um, the tension dial set to none. So um, I put the pedal here just so you can see, normally this would be you know obviously down by your feet, but um, this lets me um, start and stop it when I want and what I'll do is I'll say okay there's no tension here so I'm going to stop it and I'll apply a little bit of tension and then I'll start it back up and you know it's going really slow and that's just to get things um, you know not having you rush while things are happening uh, so it's still not really pulling enough for me so I'm going to stop it again and I'm going to twist a little bit tighter. And um, now at this point it is pulling it out of my hand. So that's good. It's pulling it on. And you know at this point you're spinning. Uh, you're applying twist and it's slowly pulling it onto the bobbin. Uh, you can, I probably would want a little more tension than that. Um, but this is just sort of a way to get the feel without having to worry about the yarn breaking. Um, that's the, the genius of of this technique, you're using this lead yarn which has already been pre-twisted so you don't have to worry about it falling apart and stuff. Uh, so I found this is a really clever way of sort of getting a feel for how to set your tension uh, before you start using the rovings and uh, with the eel wheel you can go really slow like this so it, it really is pretty easy uh, to get started and once you've done that now you'll attach your uh, rovings and you'll start spinning and you know as you get better you can turn up the speed and things but uh, that's how I would recommend a completely new spinner sort of get used to uh, setting the the tension here um, so first step is you turn the tension all the way off you start it really slow and then you add little bits of tension uh, until you find sort of this uh, uh, sweet spot for your tension. Uh, hope people find that uh, useful. Thanks for watching.